This is the greatest injustice imposed by the modern medical system in our lifetime. You are not going to get pushback from me on that. Do you want to talk about the history of HRT? Would you like to pick up the story as to how the study was designed, maybe talk about some of the the, the potential pitfalls of it, and, and ultimately how the results of that have been misunderstood and misinterpreted for so long? The fact that this story hasn't been made into a Hollywood uh, biopic mega drama, I don't know, right? This is a big deal. A billion dollars of our resources went into doing this study. They did a press conference. Have you ever seen the NIH do a press conference <laughs> that Matt Lauer talked about or that was made it on, you, you know, like Good Morning America? And they said... Okay, this we had to stop the study early. It is increasing the risk of breast cancer and increasing the risk of blood clots and cardiovascular disease, and we have to stop the study. The people who are prescribing the hormone therapy were like, this doesn't make any sense. I, I do this. I've been doing this for 20 years, 30 years. I don't have a clinic full of people who are dying of blood clots or heart attacks or who get breast cancer. Like, this is not my clinic. Whose clinic is this? They misinterpreted the data so drastically and scared everybody so with so much fear that you actually have an entire generation that has forgotten how to prescribe hormone therapy. When you took estrogen and progestin or estrogen alone, you had a decreased risk of colon cancer. You had decreased risk of fractures, like significant decrease of fractures. Decrease of diabetes. We saw a decrease in overall mortality, a decrease in cancer-specific mortality. When it comes to breast cancer, the most fascinating data that didn't make the press conference, women who are on the estrogen alone, so they didn't have a uterus, so they didn't need the progestin therapy, had a decreased risk of getting and dying from breast cancer. Even if you believe the results of that study, and you've offered a great explanation for why the actual results should be questioned, but even if you take them at face value, for every 1,000 women who were put on HRT, an additional one got breast cancer, though she didn't die from it at any increase rate to the women who didn't get the hormone. The reality is this is half the population. This is not niche medicine. The fact right. that menopause medicine is the tiniest little subset of gynecology, which it should not be under gynecology, right? This is whole body medicine, and yet nobody seems to care.